Hello, weather fans. This is the Weather Extreme video. It's the Friday afternoon edition for March the 9th. I'm James Spann getting set to cruise into what should be a pretty nice weekend ahead. Let's check some of the Skycam shots. Let's start down south. We'll go down to the uh, Gulf Shore Skycam, and they are still cloudy. The southern half of the state is overcast. But up this way, the weather looking better. That's the Jasper Sky Cam. Got sunshine through high clouds and go up to Fayette. The sky there is mostly sunny, cool, crisp, just a gorgeous afternoon. There's the visible satellite shot. You can clearly see how uh, the northern half of the state is dry uh, while and dry and sunny and clear while South Alabama is still socked in by clouds. But most of the state will likely clear overnight. And tomorrow should be a pretty nice day to start the weekend. All right, there's the deal. The uh, trough that brought the cold front through last night is uh, moving on through the northeast United States, the upper low hanging back over the southwest, New Mexico and Arizona. And uh, again, that will be lifting out and weakening early next week. As expected, temperatures much cooler today. Most folks are in the upper 50s at mid-afternoon. Tuscaloosa, the warm spot, they've got 61. But this cool snap will not last long. And around the nation, temperatures really about where they should be for this time of the year. Maybe a bit colder than average over the east, but nice and warm down in Florida where they're sitting in the 80s down there today. A very quiet March day. Often you see floods or severe weather outbreaks or something, uh, snowstorms, but not really. Just uh, a few minor issues out west. The east is very quiet. And there's the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. I don't think we get as much as that shows here. This is showing uh, about one inch for West Alabama. I don't know. We'll have a chance of showers next week, but the stuff should be pretty widely spaced and not very organized. The better rains in Texas, the bullseye near Houston, almost five inches there. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Saturday. Trough sweeping off the upper Atlantic coast, upper low just hanging around New Mexico, and we've got ridging here, so it should be a nice day, bright, sunny. Highs, I'd say 67 to 70, just gorgeous. We start the day down in the 30s. Some of the colder spots might see a light freeze. Sunday, partly sunny, high close to 7. They say partly sunny clouds probably increasing during the day, but the rain holds off to the west, uh, raining over parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma. And some of those showers could ease in here Sunday night. And there's Monday, and that upper low that was over the southwest is opening up, weakening, lifting out toward the Great Lakes. And a trailing front from a weak surface low will try to push in here, but it's got no hope of making it through here. Uh, that could kick off a few showers on Monday, no doubt about that. The front stalls out and fizzles out. There's Tuesday. We're still in the moisture axis, and it's going to be pretty warm next week. Highs well up in the 70s. Wouldn't be shocked if we hit 80 on a day or two. And, and the deal is every day is going to look like that. This is Wednesday. Enough moisture for a few scattered showers mainly afternoon and evening. Almost sounds like a summer forecast here. Uh, same thing Thursday, moist air, maybe a shower in spots. And a week from today, highs 75 to 80, a mix of sun and clouds with some risk of scattered showers. But nothing organized, nothing severe, nothing really widespread next week. We'll check the end of the forecast on March 25th. And that is not a cold look for us. We've got ridging here, trough in the west, down below that. If that's right, that would be kind of mild and maybe a shower, but no big deal. So things look pretty quiet. The be best news of all is that we see no significant chance of any uh, severe weather here for the next two weeks. And that's great considering the fact that we are now in tornado season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. The man that looks like Colonel Sanders. Brian Peters will have the video updates tomorrow and Sunday. And don't forget to watch us on uh, the news this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.